Hey, welcome back everyone. Okay, so look, we have guests and then we have guests. <laughs> this <laughs> is extravagant. Christine Carlisle, a birch and brie. This is amazing. What do we have going on here, Christine? Well, um, we designed themed grace tables for yeah. any occasion. So today we have our Christmas grace. It's yeah. a work of art. <laughs> this is insane. Okay, so I mean, before we even get to all of this, yes. we've got to talk about when you got started, where yeah. you got started. Tell us a little bit of the background. Okay, of so it's been a year and a half. We've okay. been in business and um, it all started with a golf outing, actually. Um, I was in a golf outing and somebody handed me a charcuterie cup and I was starving and <laughs> <laughs> that's usually where it starts <laughs> and um, I was like oh my god this is so cool and I saw so I, I had to tee off so I stuck it in my cup and then when I was done I was eating it and I said I can make this yeah and so um, how long ago was that by the way I'm just curious a year and a half ago <gasps> And let's take some video. We have some video okay. of previous boards and graze tables that you've made. You really oh have a talent. Gosh. Have you always been this creative? Always. Um, my mother, uh, she, she, I was uh, creative at the age of three, so. Really? Yeah. Yes. I mean, this isn't a graze table. This is a graze room. <laughs> so that That's insane. How long does it take you? I yeah. mean, obviously, you came here about 9 o'clock. Yeah. And you've been setting up you've ever since prepping. 9 o'clock. So, yeah. So, it takes us about three hours to do a graze. Okay. Um, my team and I, we try to do it in about three hours. Um, <laughs> obviously, the last things that come out are the meats and the cheeses. Right. Mm -hmm. So, that's what I'm going to have you guys help me with today. We can try. I mean, I, I, by the way, I am in love with olives, so if I pick Ooh. out an olive, can you not Go yell for at me? It. I know. Go and we're not it. as creative I, as you. Really and by the way, so people much. can buy pre-made boards or you oh, can yes. go and set this up at someone's home or an event, right? Yes, yes, we do all that. That is so cool. Okay, we got some stuff okay, back here. Yeah. So can I start with the grapes? I always feel like grapes are a really important part to a board or a graze. So can I put this like anywhere? Absolutely, the absolutely. And and we usually oh, <laughs> we usually do that ahead of like in the beginning because it's a, a large item, but yeah. I wanted to give you guys some fun stuff to do. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a cheese ball here as yes, well. Yes, yes, okay. that goes out there. And then Laura, what do you have here? here? What, is what do I have here, Christine? Um, those meats. are our little salami rolls. Little okay. salami gotcha. rolls. Look at that. And I'll just put that in the bowl, maybe, mm -hmm. yep, right here. That's perfect. That's perfect. And really quickly, I it couldn't help but notice these beautiful boards over there. This is something yes. your business has as well. Yes, so my husband, he makes our custom wood boards, um, and he's super creative. Well, <laughs> can we, can Josh, imagine. can we show this lighthouse one? Sure, I'm going to step uh, over here. Do you here. mind walking over there? So because one, this is really cool. So that one is I'm gonna a set up these salted grapes, maple, so. and then it's got an epoxy finish on the front of it. You see that this is phone? stunning. And um, so it's great for um, display. So you can put it on a stand, like kind of I have this other one up here on a stand. Yeah. But um, it's not just for food, it's home decor as well. So yeah. all of our boards are, are home decor as well. You also have sea salt, seasonings. Yes. The list goes on and <laughs> on. Look at that bucket of seasonings over here, Bobby. I don't know if you guys have a second to go over to this bowl where it sits Mary. There's a whole lot of seasonings. Tell us about that as well. So those are unrefined sea salts and gourmet seasonings, and they are healthy for you, um, unlike your table salt. Gotcha. Um, and so all of our dips and our cheese balls and our chocolates we make in-house and we use our uh, seasonings and Christine. sea salts. You know how to really balance everything. We've got a yeah. little bit of sour. we got some sweets as well. Tell us what this is here before you so put the cheese So these are on. our snowballs okay. that we made, our birch and brie snowballs. Um, okay. Do you mind, can we try some? Yeah, you can. Oh, there are. There. I'm trying everything so, on this table. Do you mind? Christine, Sorry, guys, everything. at home. I'm trying everything. This oh. is, but this is just some of the stuff that I mean. Again, folks at home watching this right oh now. Oh God. You can try this. How is it? <laughs> I've never seen you go an entire thing of anything on this show. It's, they're super rich, so. Mm. Is that red velvet inside? It's red velvet inside. Oh, That's yeah. my favorite ever. I know, mine too. Oh, no. This is crazy. And so this is what people can expect when they book with you, right? Yes, yes. Um, you know, obviously each issues. table is created differently mm -hmm. and um, we cater to whatever you want. So, yeah. um, you know, if there's uh, health restrictions or diet restrictions, we go according to that as well. Can yeah. I put some... Ch I, yeah, I wish I it. had the eye like you do. I'm just gonna um, throw some. Yeah, yeah, right? that's is fine. Is this okay? Yes, and you know what? I did want to work with you guys on this one right here. Yes, this, please. This please. Is our, this is our drunken goat cheese. Can and you I, show the camera right here? Just yeah, stand right here, and I want you to just hold it up right about here. And then that. So what type of cheese is this? So this is drunken goat. Okay. Uh, the name comes from. So it's the the rind is soaked in red wine. So it's, I'm gonna say it's a purple hue on it. Yes, it's a, it's a dark. <laughs> it's soaked hue. in wine. 
Oh my it's, God. It's amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these up here. Please, absolutely. And that's part of the thing. You know you have <laughs> an eye for this stuff, and so you have to have things certain places in order to make it look good. Yes. And you make this look really extravagant just for us. We, I mean, we are not worthy. You, no, uh, you <laughs> caught my eye. We've been Instagram friends for a little bit. Yeah. And this every holiday, I'm like, what is this? You mm -hmm. are something else. So go this check out her Instagram page, too. She has plenty of photos from yeah. all the creative events you've done. I'm just throwing really stuff down at this point. Christy. I'm trying to act like I know what I'm doing. And I, I know. Same. I love that. This is great. Uh, thank you so much for, you're for being here and you're doing welcome. this. You're welcome. Thank and you for having me. Oh, my gosh. This is so excited. amazing. Something tells me your phone is about to start blowing up. So <laughs> I think that. so. And we're going to have everything online for folks at home. They want to know the website and the number. We're going to have everything at WNDU. Dot com. I don't have to go to lunch today. No, <laughs> no, you I mean, don't. We even got honey. Over. Look at the honey over can here. Can we leave our bread and honey bar? And the amount of people from our newsroom who stopped in and said, "Can I keep all this stuff?" I mean, this is just really something. This is you are truly a year and a half ago. Year and half. look at you. Hard to believe. It's amazing. It right. Birch amazing. and Bree, Christine Carlisle, we so appreciate you being here. Thank right. You have a talent. So much. We sadly have to do the news after this, so <laughs> <laughs> we will be right back. Stay there.